Okay, thank you for checking out the Risk Assessor app video. Um, what you can see on the screen at the moment is the home screen where you'll see all the saved risk assessments that you've carried out previously. They're listed by date, the Risk Assessor, the project name, and then of course you've got the opportunity to delete or email each individual PDF assessment. What you'll also see there is the follow-up due date that's highlighted in yellow. Every assessment that you do, you're asked if you need to do a further assessment if you are, it will ask you to select a date that you want to do that by and then automatically set a reminder that will sync through to your calendar on your device. So if we start by creating a new assessment, we'll click on the new assessment button in the bottom right. You're asked to take a photograph of the work area. So we're just going to, rather than take a new one, we're just going to select one that I've already got on my phone here of a pretty regular building. What you'll see at the bottom there are lots of different icons. Each icon represents a different hazard that we've preloaded. Now the, the preloaded hazards can be completely edited and also added to. Um, there's lots of icons that you get to choose from for new hazards you want to add and you basically add your own um, hazard and as many control measures as you like. Now these can be edited as you go so just because you've preloaded some it doesn't mean that you have to use them as they are as you produce each assessment. Each assessment needs to be very specific um, to, to the environment that you're doing it in. So you, you do need the option to be able to, to edit these. If we click on key, it will just bring up the, uh, the general hazard information bit for each icon. So what we'll do is just select a couple of examples just to show you how the app works really. So we'll go for the manual handling hazard and the slips, trips and falls. And we'll click on next. It will then ask us to enter a project name. So we'll just put test project in there. And you can add as many assessors as you like. I'm just going to leave it as me for the time being, but if you click that drop down, you can see any, any other assessors that we've got preloaded. Staff in area, so we'll just select a couple of staff that are in that area. And then you've got the work start date, the end date, and the assessment date. As default, they will always be today's date, but you can click and select whatever dates you like in there. Work description, we'll just put test signage install. You can put whatever you like in there again. So if we click on next, it will give us the opportunity to select um, the options for any further assessments that are required. You can see the list there. So if we just select a couple of yeses and click on next. Persons involved, um, who is this relevant to? Is it employees and visitors? Uh, contractors, members of the public and others, we'll just select all of those. And special groups, again you get the opportunity for, for yeses and noes. Check your actions page, okay now this is specific to the hazard that we chose that we dragged over the photograph. Um, you've got the default entries that are listed here, as, as I mentioned we can add as much text as we like to any of these boxes. Um, we can also change the default worst case outcome and we can also change the likelihood given the precautions that are in place. If we scroll down, we'll see the actions that are associated to that hazard. Simply by clicking on the red cross there, we can say, ensure everybody involved has received manual handling training. That's already in place, so we'll leave that as it is. Use safety checked trolley and sack truck. That's gonna be required, so we'll click the required tab. We'll click on next, we'll go through to the next hazard. Slips, trips and falls, okay, we'll leave the uh, the default information in there. And choosing the action, protective non-slip footwear to be worn, yeah, we'll go with that, that's going to be required. And the area to be tidied, cleaned and dry prior to work date, that's already in place. Okay, so if we click on next, is another follow-up assessment required? Uh, we're going to say yes it is, and it'll ask us the date that we want to do that assessment. So if we choose the 10th of June 2014, click on next, when do we want the reminder? We'll just go one day before, click on done. It's now syncing with the iCal or the calendar on your device. Click on OK, click on finish and it will generate the PDF risk ass assessment for you. Shouldn't be a second. And what you'll see, you've got the logo in the top right hand corner and the, uh, the the PDF assessment details below. I'll load up a larger version in just a second so that you can see it in a little bit more detail. 
Um, so for now, if we just click on this Save button, it will save it to our list. Just at the bottom there, you can see the follow-up date um, as the 10th of June, just like we selected. Okay, now if I just click on the PDF, here we go, it's Adobe Acrobat. Um, in a little bit more detail, you can see all the options that we selected earlier on. So um, there's your logo, here's all your hazards, the controls in place, the worst case outcome, the likelihood, and the additional control measures required. You've got your grid down here that highlights the, um, the, the score and the rating information, um, the date of assessment listed down here, the specific information um, to the assessment you've just done will be listed here, and if we go to page two, you'll actually see the photograph that you've taken to do the assessment with the icons that you dragged over the top. Now, if we click on, um, on mail, it's very, very easy to email the assessment straight through to, uh, to whoever you like. You simply um, click on the email button, it will load up your email on the device. So if we just email it through to myself, James Bright Wright, send, and that's now been sent to my email in a PDF format. Um, which most people will be able to open. The app is completely free to, to download um, on the Risk Assessor Lite version. Um, you then pay £4.99 if you choose to be able to email it through. That's an unlimited email package, so once you've purchased it once, you can email as much as you like. Um, any more questions can be emailed through to sales at bigcreative.co.uk. We'll be very, very happy to help. Thank you.